Well, thanks for joining me for part three in restoration of this Atlas Horizontal Mill. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and address the headstock and the milling table. lock plunger which is supposed to be right there it's a little plunger that comes out the back side here it has a spring that sits down inside and what that allows you to do is pull on that it will seat on these two positions so this would be in here you have a lock plunger you could pull on that knob release it and then you could rotate it down to the other position so I'm gonna have to uh, check online or maybe I'll just make one see how bad we screw this up It's not perfect, but uh, it turned out all right. When I was cleaning this up, I noticed that this yoke was bent. Uh, let me see if you can see that. It's tilted this way. So when I drove the pin out, and I took it out, yeah, it's definitely 
in need of replacement. Well, I got that taken care of. So there's that old one. And here's our nice new one. Straightened out. This is one of the original screws for the gib and uh, it's broke. Because I have so many broke, I'm going to use these as well along the front. Of course, I got to run back out to the hardware store and get another one. This is not the original shaft. The original shaft, well, I'll show you. See that? That welded piece that was never stuck all the way through. In fact, the only reason I can conclude that it was welded Nobody ever wanted to use this as a horizontal mill after it got into a particular owner's garage, I guess. Gotta fix a little vibration right there. Well, it's done. It's done in terms of the machine cleaned up and put back together. There are a few things, though, that are missing that I'm going to have to address. I've never turned a Morse taper and got it to come out right. I mean, I've tried a couple times, and I've screwed it up just because I'm learning. I'm learning as I go. The first thing that I'm going to have to make is the actual arbor which you can see here got a printout that's gonna be a that's gonna be a project that'll be fun the other thing that I wanna create or build is the actual um, there was the option for the support bar that drops all the way down and I do wanna make that as well to really up the rigidity for such a small machine. So it did come with a vertical head attachment. That takes a 
Number two, Morse taper. The original setup was welded in place. They actually welded the uh, arbor support. They actually mounted a separate motor on the back so it hung off the top. Which I'm not too keen on myself. It's another motor, it's another just a big heavy thing to try to take on and off. I know I've seen them on eBay where they have the uh, little adapter so you can connect a pulley to the spindle nose and it uh, works its way up 90 degrees. So I'm going to make one of those in the future and see what vertical attachment, uh, how, that, how this kind of works out for me. Well that pretty much wraps up the complete teardown and cleanup of this machine. I would love to hear from you. If you've got some positive feedback or constructive cr criticism, it's good to hear that stuff because that allows me to improve. And I want to continually get better at this. And the only way is if we have that type of dialogue where you can point out somewhere where I probably made a mistake or I've screwed up or you know of a much better better, much faster, more efficient way, please let me know. That's the only way I'm ever going to learn. Thanks for watching.